Downloading other people's content from YouTube can be a pretty hairy situation, both ethically and legally. Today, let's talk about the situations in which you can legally download videos from YouTube. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators, the channel that is all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And sometimes in the process of doing that, making your own content, you see a clip on YouTube you really wanna use in one of your own videos and you really wanna download, or maybe you just wanna download it so you can watch it offline while you're on the bus or the gym or something like that. When can you do this? Well, first of all, let's go to YouTube's Terms of Service and there's two parts in there that say this. Section 4C, you agree to not access content through any technology or means other than the video playback pages of the service itself, the embeddable player, or other explicitly authorized means YouTube may designate. And then down scrolling to section 5B, content is provided to you as is. You may access content for your information and personal use so Solely as intended through the provided functionality of the service and as permitted under these terms of service. You shall not download any content unless you see a download or similar link displayed by YouTube on the service for that content. No, according to YouTube's terms of service, you may not download any other content from the platform really for any use whatsoever. Now doing so though doesn't make it illegal it just means that Google has the right to terminate your account if they catch you doing it and feel like that's necessary to do. However, it is illegal for reasons bigger than Google really. It's because you are downloading someone else's copyrighted content without a license to use that content in an explicit way. The creator owns that content and gives a license to YouTube to host and distribute that content, but that does not mean that the creator has given you a license to do the same. Now in the US, there are situations that are clearly fair use, usage of other people's content, and under those situations, you that might be an exception. You can have and use and that content without the original creator's permission. But generally speaking, if that's not the case, then you are stealing the content. We're not going to get into internet piracy here in this video, but I think we can all genuinely agree as creators that it hurts creators and the platform as a whole when people do this. There is one situation where any of us though can absolutely legally download videos and watch them offline. Say for example, you're on the bus and, and you're, you don't wanna use all your data. You don't wanna burn through all that and pay for that on your mobile device. Or maybe you're gonna be out of cell phone service. Maybe you're on the subway in the city or or going for an airplane ride, you wanna catch up on all your subscriptions and you don't wanna pay the really high Wi-Fi fee on that airplane to do that. Well, if you are a subscriber of YouTube Red, then yes, you can download all those videos you want inside the YouTube app with the download button that the Terms of Service talks about. And you can watch all of those videos offline right at your mobile device. And it's great because when you do reconnect the Wi-Fi, all your watch time, all your views sync to YouTube server and the creators count, they're channel then gets credit for you watching their videos still. As a subscriber to YouTube Red myself, I love that feature inside the app. There's a whole bunch of other features that come with YouTube Red also if you're not already a subscriber. I'm not sponsored, affiliated in any way. I just really love the service, not seeing any ads on YouTube whatsoever, having full access to Google Music Play, which is basically, or Music Play Music, which is basically their Spotify music library. It's just awesome, I love it. And I also love that as a YouTube YouTube Red subscriber, when I watch other people's videos on YouTube, those creators are earning more money from me as a YouTube Red subscriber than they would be earning just from passive ad supported viewers. So YouTube Red is great all the way around. It wasn't supposed to be a commercial about it or anything, but that's how you can legally download videos and not have any problems with it. Plus it's just super easy and built into the app. Now I am not a lawyer, but these are the general principles that I found that do make sense to me. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below about downloading videos. When do you do it? When do you not do it? And what would you recommend about YouTube Red as a whole? And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. We're all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audiences and your channels so you can reach people, spread your message and impact their lives. So thanks for hanging out, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another YouTube tip. See you then, bye.